Hey guys, Lone here, and I'm back with another video finally. I do apologize that I've been away for so long, but uh, yeah, my birthday is coming up in like a week. Mm, it's actually, I think, next Saturday by the time this video is posted, so it's like... Mm, and I have essentially been doing spring cleaning throughout all of my supplies and stuff and kind of clearing it out because that's what I do and I also felt the need to get some supplies because I desperately needed to get some supplies and um yeah I felt like getting myself some stuff because why not it is my birthday that's a good excuse and whatnot and if you hear Houdini she's hunting something I don't, I don't know she's a cat so, without further ado, even though this may not be a lot of stuff, I hope that you guys enjoy this lovely mini haul that I decided to do for myself. So the first thing I got was some Copic Spare Nib Brush Nibs because they are almost always out online. I ended up having to go to Hobby Lobby and my local Hobby Lobby actually sold these and this was the last little set that they had so I was like totally snagging that mine. And while I was there, I also got myself a set of the Le Pen inking pens from Marvi Uchida. I haven't tried these out yet. However, I have seen quite a few artists that have tried them out and do like them. So I figured I'd give them a shot. I don't think I'm going to do any sort of review on these, but let me know if you guys want a review and I can actually work on that for next week's video. So leave a comment down below in the description. So or I don't know where this is going to be because it's going to be rotated, but <clears throat> just leave a comment down below if you guys would like me to review these ink pens because you guys know I love ink pens and after I used up one, two, like three or four different sets of pens. I figured I might as well get myself a new set after I went through and cleaned out everything. Another thing I ended up getting because I used them all up was some Sakura Jelly Rolls. So I got a couple more of those. So yay, white gel pens. I love them. And then because I wanted to see how these came out, I ended up getting the Sakura Pen Touch uh, paint markers. So I've got one in, I believe it is point, what is it? Point seven. So extra fine. Let's see if we can get this open. Yeah, there we go. So, ooh, kind of used up a little bit. I used it a little bit on Inktober because I hadn't had the white pe gel pens yet. And then I also got myself the 2.0 millimeter, which is nice, big, and fat. And also not not quite as opaque as say the Sakura Jelly Roll or the 0.7 millimeter pen. So if you want something that's not quite so opaque and could potentially give you a nifty effect depending on how you use it, you could always check out this. And then the final thing I got, because I was in desperate need of some, and I am still in desperate need of some, but I didn't order them all because then people wouldn't have stuff to get me because it's an easy to go to gift for me come Christmas and birthday is some lovely Copic refills so I've got R56 current B10 or BG10 cool shadow B21 baby blue warm gray 1 and warm gray 3 because these were, for lack of a better term, the one, two, three, four, five uh, refills that I needed. I actually still need to get one more, but everywhere I've looked, they've been out of it, so I guess I have to wait a little longer to get that refill. But yeah, so all of this was stuff that I ended up getting myself for my birthday. And I know it's not a ton of stuff, but hey potential future content and other stuff and whatnot and being able to use markers that have been dead for half the year. I'm, I'm kosher with my little haul here. So uh, I will talk with you guys in my next video and uh, hopefully I'll have more art out there for you guys very soon now that I've gotten some needed stuff of stuff. So 
see you guys in my next video. Meh meh.